Welcome back to Life and Games. I'm Cam. I'm Carl. All right, sit down. This is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting one. Yes, sir. All right, empty your bowels, drain your balls, grab some snacks, call your mom, tell her you love her, <laughs> make some plans, get some reservations, put your phone on do not disturb because it's gonna be a long boy today. Yeah, you're in for the long haul, boys. Mm-hmm. So we have decided that uh, we're gonna mix it up again. Surprise, yeah, surprise. Remix it. Remix it to the uh, remix it to the original. These are my confessions. <laughs> <laughs> We decided that instead of doing a bunch yeah. of little clip videos, we're going to do yeah. what we're calling the Life and Games Cast. We're bringing it back to a long-form podcast where, just like we started off with, we enjoyed doing that. Mm-hmm. It was our spiritual bread and butter, what we like to do the yeah. best. And uh, we're, we're going to come back. We're, we've got Hump Day headlines mm-hmm. and some other guest skits and things that we're doing to placate. But, you know, we're doing what we want. Yeah, it's our channel. So <laughs> get on board or get out of the way. And to start off, this is episode one yeah. of Life and Games Cast Reboot. Redo. Remix. We're, we're, doing, we're doing it again. Doing it live. Forget everything that you've seen before. <laughs> yeah, it may not be there in the future, but for now, mm-hmm. enjoy it while you can. And to start off, mm-hmm. Cameron. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron. Tell me about... Mm-hmm. Tell me about the new hotness that's come out. Okay. The thing that you're, I can tell you're throbbing for. Yeah. Okay. So, past week or so, uh, kind of been a little wild in the handheld gaming space. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, indeed. You know, what we all expected there to be a new Nintendo Switch. Yeah. You know, that, that 4K Ooh. beast with Ooh, all that memory geezer. and all the up in your graphics and just mm-hmm. going hard. No. 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 no we no, should have no, no, known no. better. Should've Come on. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Nintendo announced the Nintendo Switch OLED edition. Greatest name in the history of console names. It, I mean, it's no new Nintendo 3DS, but it's nope. up there. So basically, instead of getting the 4K beast, mm-hmm. here's what we got. A $350 Nintendo Switch that mm-hmm. is $50 more than the current model. Yep. With a surprise, surprise OLED screen. Mm-hmm. Great, which all, by the way. Choice. Mwah. Excited about that. Mm-hmm. The bevel is smaller, so therefore mm-hmm. the screen size on the handheld is bigger. Seven inches. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, it comes yep. in white. <laughs> yes. And it's got an Ethernet port. Yes. And the kickstand is not crap. Yes, it's got a wide kickstand, yeah. which actually is one of the most significant upgrades. Yeah. That's, that, I mean, <laughs> which I, says something. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be like, yo, I'm excited about the kickstand, but I'm kind of excited about the yeah, kickstand. I mean, hey, if you've ever owned a Switch and you're using it in tabletop mode, mm-hmm. you're going to be excited about the kickstand. Yeah. I mean, there are replacements you can get for yours now, but this thing is like all mm-hmm. the way across the bottom. It's a, it's a good kickstand. Yeah. So they announced that. People were mixed. Some people were like, oh, cool, upgrade. And other people were like, where are my teraflops? Yeah. I need 4K. How am yep. I going to survive without Breath of the Wild 2 and 4K? Yeah. And I mean, they don't really need it. No. Honestly. And, and that brings me into my little hot take on this, which probably isn't really a hot take, mm-hmm. but... A slim handheld mm-hmm. does not need. First off, people wanted 1080p on the handheld yeah, on the device cool. itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I, don't, I think that's too much. First off, okay, now hear me out. I know you, you, you took that breath, and I know you're in the comments right now. But hold on, <laughs> you got to think about if you want a, a CPU that's powerful enough to push 4K, mm-hmm. and you want it to be uh, pushing all those pixels that's required to make a 1080p screen right and you want it to keep the same size bro your battery is going to be trash yeah it's going to light your hands on fire yeah it's going to be extremely hot and the battery life is going to be awful yeah. or they just double the thickness and throw some fans in there yeah. and you you got yourself this is great <laughs> you got yourself the nintendo dyson <laughs> you can play some breath of the wild in 1080p yeah, you can really feel the breath on that one yeah <laughs> Well, you got your wife blow drying her hair at the same time. (laughs) No. I mean, so I think 720p is is the sweet spot, at least right now, with processing power for mobile gaming. With the smaller screen, you're not really going to see it. Like, the pixels are so small, the dense as it is. Yeah, yeah. You'll you'll be fine. Right. And with the OLED screen, it's going to pop. It's going to look good. Yep. It's going to look good. Yep. So that's that's the the hot take. Right. And then, oh, do you have more on the Switch? I do have more on the All Switch. Right, go for it. So we missed a couple things on the spec sheet. Uh, 64 gigabytes of memory. Oh, did they upgrade yep, it? I yep. didn't so you get that. twice okay. the memory, which is great. That should increase some speeds then. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they increased the speed. Oh, it's not RAM. It's actual like hard disk. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I thought they made 64 <laughs> gigabytes. <laughs> the Sorry. Nintendo Switch was 64 gigabytes of RAM. Yes, because That's not only... <laughs> 
Now you can do 4K video editing on your Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Render out entire projects. Yeah. No, 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 no. 64 gigabytes of storage. I'm sorry. I said in memory. Uh, 64 gigabytes of storage. And the speakers are a little better, too. Oh, so yay. they claim. Yeah. Because so. uh, Switch speakers. Hot trash. Yes, yes. Um, what they didn't give us... Uh, we didn't get Bluetooth support. Big one. So I can't use my AirPods or my earbuds with them. Nope. Nope. Uh, we didn't get a better processor. 64 gigabytes of memory is still not yeah. very much. It's not, but for Nintendo games, it's fine. It's yeah. like it's like having a PlayStation with, I don't know, 128 gigs. At least it's, it's not like, like closed system like a lot of Apple stuff where that is what you get. You do get expandable yeah. storage, which we yeah. had the whole time. Up yeah. to two terabyte SD card. Yep. Which... I don't think even exists yet. Uh, they might. If they do, they're probably like $300. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Second switch. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just going to switch to a whole other switch. Switch to the switch. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they didn't give us the Bluetooth. They didn't give us the 4K. They didn't give us the 1080p, which I'm fine with, honestly. The graphics are the 4K, the 1080p, whatever. I don't right. care. Uh, I really wanted the Bluetooth. I wanted um, extra ports. Yeah. We well, didn't get an extra port. I think you actually lose a port for the sake of the... Mm -hmm. uh, LAN adapter. No, they just moved the other USB port. Oh, did port. they move yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, For me, didn't... like, I, I wanted there to be some kind of something to plug it in. When you plug yeah. it in, it's the same thing. Yeah. The exact same switch. Yep. Nothing new. It's like... You're well, Ethernet. Oh, boy. <laughs> you get the Ethernet. Get trashed in uh, Elite Smash mm -hmm. faster. You're right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, other than that, I couldn't nitpick. Oh, the one thing I really wanted was for them to change the... D-pad. I wanted this uh, to be a real D-pad. Yeah, that'd be cool if we got some like pro Joy Cons in the future. Yeah, I know they have the Hori ones, but nah. yeah, they they they're missing a lot of features and they're kind of third-party jank. Mm -hmm. Basically, Mad Cats. Right. But so they announced the Switch. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, "Yay!" or like, "Ah." So and are then, you are you getting the Switch? I did. I actually got a pre-order. Yeah. Uh, through Walmart. Thankfully, I was able to get one because. Lord knows them scalpers be wild. Oh, oh they be wilding out there. See, and the great thing about this mm -hmm. is with our next section, when they announce this next thing, you could get the Switch anytime you wanted because it pretty much killed all momentum of it because <laughs> about a week later, Valve comes out and goes, our Switch. Yeah, so <laughs> Valve comes up with the Steam Deck. Not, Steam Deck. Not, not the Elgato Stream Deck. No. Whole other thing. The Valve Steam Deck. I like and the name. While you are hype on the Switch, this, <laughs> this is my wheelhouse right here. Mm -hmm. I am super hype on this. I for, I did not pre-order the Switch. Yeah. I would did the Steam Deck instead. Yeah. Because for 50 extra bucks, you get a whole gaming PC in your hands, which... For me, I mean, I already have a Nintendo Switch, and it would be nice. Maybe eventually I'll upgrade to the OLED edition. Yeah. But I'll be able to play the same games. Don't care. Yeah. Just give That's me true. the Steam Deck. So what we have, I pull up the spec sheet here, is Valve, the people who make Steam, they have their own handheld. It's basically it, the same body type as the Switch, too. It's with, a little different, actually. You get the well, curves you know, on the ergonomics is much better. Yeah, but as far as, like, form factor, oh yeah, it's, it, it is... It, what you expect. It looks like if you merged a Switch and a Game Gear. Yeah, it was like, what if you took the PlayStation Vita and bigged it? Yeah, yeah. Or like the Wii U gamepad. And then just attach some Steam mm -hmm. controller crap to it. Yes. With the double touch pads. So, what oh, is, those are sweet. Dude, okay. Having so, okay, so this, let's give the rundown. Right, yeah, so yeah, so anybody who doesn't know, we're going to give the rundown. It's It looks kind of like a Wii U gamepad. Super great. So underneath the, um, to the right of the right joystick, you have your A, B, X, Y buttons. Right. To the left of the left joystick, you've got your D-pad. Mm -hmm. Underneath the joysticks, you have two track pads. It's so weird. Which are so, I think they're great. Um, because of those games where you want those granular controls, yeah. like I can imagine a, a game where, or a, a scenario where you're using the left joystick to move right. and the right trackpad for precision movements and maybe the right uh, D stick mm -hmm. for broad like camera swath, camera yeah. swath, big movements. But when you want that granular control, you just bring your thumb down there, get some quick movements. That's fair. And also it's a, it's a PC. Yeah. So you're going to have a cursor. Yeah. So nice. it's going to be nice for using the cursor. Let me ask you, have you used a steam controller? I have not. Okay. Having used the steam mm -hmm. controller, this was kind of it's, it's grandfather. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. guess you can say, you know, the mm -hmm. Steam controller was what turned into this. Yep. Instead of the D-pad, it had the trackpad. Mm -hmm. And uh, not a yeah. big fan. Yeah, it wasn't great. They say this one is something like 50% more responsive than the trackpads on the Steam controller. It's just so finicky because yeah, there yeah. was no tactile feedback. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I want. If I have to use just my thumb, I want to feel it. 
Like, yeah, well, we you don't have in, to use just your thumb. No, but for the trackpad, yeah. you, you probably would. But we live in an age now where, you know, Sony's got their dope vibrating technology. Mm-hmm. You've got the mm-hmm. HD rumble from the Switch. I hope this thing gives some serious tactile feedback so that yeah. you can feel your movements. Yeah. Well, the um, I know that the trigger buttons, shoulder buttons, are analog and oh, not digital. Really? So that's very nice. That's a lost uh, art these days. Yeah. So they, oh, it's not so much. Steam's still got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and a really cool thing is that both the trackpads and and the dire- the, the joysticks mm-hmm. are capacitive. Okay. So it knows when, even if you aren't moving the joysticks, it knows when your thumb is on them. So that way, I don't know what that's going to be used for exactly. But I mean, it's gonna be maybe used for something horror games or something like that. They just like know you're there. Right, right, right. So maybe it could be used as input where you can just tap it, like yeah. you do on a, a trackpad on a laptop. So the thing I like is, you know, the, the Nintendo Switch kind of revolutionized the modern day market, mm-hmm. right? People it created so, a new category. Yeah, basically, it was like you know the the days of you know your Game Boy Advances and whatnot. That we don't do that anymore. No. Everybody thought you know mobile gaming. That's it. That's where it's going. You're just gonna use on screen buttons and stuff. And Steam says no. Yeah, and the cool thing they're doing is, with the, the way the switch does, where mm-hmm. you dock it, yeah, you can dock the Stream Deck, yeah, and use it as an actual oh. full fledged PC. Sorry, Steam Deck. Yeah, you said stream. See, that's that's <laughs> See, the biggest. They're thing. screwed on that one. Mm-hmm. I love the name, but damn, dude. I don't. I don't know if that was on purpose or what. Like <laughs> they could have called it like, what would you name it? Well, I mean, I like the Steam Deck. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I would say maybe something like the Game the, Boy. The Gabe Boy. <laughs> There's some things that were tossed around the internet. People were saying Steam Boy, Gabe Boys, <laughs> the Steam Gear. I think those are all all I those like Steam Gear. All those cheeky ones that are playing off previous handhelds. Or yeah. no, we don't do that. Maybe like Valve Deck, or just, I just yeah. don't like the idea of them even getting close to something that exists. I mean, Valve. Yeah, but they've kind of gotten away from the Valve branding now that mm-hmm. they stopped making games. Yeah. It's all just uh, Steam. Or Steam Pads, Steam, maybe? Steam. They've already done Steam Box, right? Yeah, they've done Steam Box, Steam Machines. Steam Controller. Steam Controller, like no, Steam Pad. Steam or Link. Is, they've done Steam Link. That's yeah. the software. Um, how about... Well, that's the hardware. It's the actual thing. It's a little dongle box. Oh, is it? Yeah, you just mm. pair it, and then you can stream your PC to a TV. Oh, okay. It, okay. Uh, the, how about the Steam Dock? I mean, no, that's that, that's probably what they're gonna call the thing. Yeah, it's called um, Steamboat Game Boy Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's hard because it's it is a deck, right? It's a yeah. thing that you can. Yeah, but you can dock it and turn. You dock it, mm-hmm. hook it up to a monitor, keyboard, mouse. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. Yeah, I mean, if you don't already have a gaming PC, you here you go. Get one, and then you can um, take it on the go. Yep, and speak, and that segues directly into pricing. Because if you don't already have a gaming PC, for three ninety nine, mm-hmm. three hundred ninety nine dollars, you get a full fledged gaming PC that you can also pick up, stuff it in a backpack, and take it with it wherever you want. That the value proposition on that alone, yeah, it, it really is makes you amazing. Wonder, like, oh, they're definitely taking a loss. Yeah, no, they're definitely. I mean, there's no way that you can get that. PC oomph out of four hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. No way. No, 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 no. That's I mean, like a crap graphics card money. Yeah. They're betting <laughs> what they're betting on is I I can almost guarantee you they're gonna sell more of the Okay, so here let's break down the price. Right. Three ninety nine. Three models. You get sixty four gigabytes of EMMC storage. What does that mean? It's it, for the layman it's a little slower. Slower than storage. SSD? Then it's SSD, but it's slower than the NVMe SSDs. So Oh, God. It's not as good storage. feel old. <laughs> <laughs> so, 64 gigabytes of EMMC storage, and you get a carrying case. Yay! So, that's 399 529 you get 256 gigabytes of an NVMe SSD, so you get faster storage. Okay. Um, of course, you get the carrying case and an exclusive Steam Community Profile bundle. Oh, there you go. You get them mm-hmm. cool stickers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Exactly what everybody wants. Hey, I mean, there are people that care. You can flex, bro. Yeah. 649 Half a terabyte, 512 gigabytes of NVMe SSD, so it's the fastest storage. Uh Um, It actually gets some hardware changes, too. Premium anti-glare etched glass. So that'll be nice. No, that's very nice on a handheld. Yeah, but you said hardware. I was like, it's fast. That's hardware. I mean, you get faster storage. Freaking glass. (laughs) It's hardware. I mean, you wouldn't be saying that if you're, I mean, if you're anywhere where there's, like, lights or you want to play outside, that makes a big difference. It's definitely an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's a a big, it's $700? Yeah. 
Six forty nine. So six fifty. So six fifty. I mean, which is still that's, for a full fledged gaming PC with half a terabyte that can play AAA games. That's good. Yeah. That can you can not that you can put in a backpack and take with you and play handheld. You gotta freak like. It's almost too good to be true. I I very much want to see these on the market and see the Mm -hmm. shelf life of them. Yeah. Because, you know, if you're into gaming on PC at all, you Mm -hmm. know that the second you buy your graphics card, it's out of date. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You buy any parts for it, they're already out of date. Like, Well, I mean, you can upgrade the SSD. Can you? Yeah. So the SSD is it's an NVMe SSD. It's a thirty. I believe it's a thirty millimeter is what it is. Okay. But you can still pop it out and swap it. Hmm. Um, they also have SD card support, so you can expand okay. your memory. So even if you do go with a three ninety nine sixty four gigabyte model, mm-hmm. if you know if you're just trying to play your old games, RPGs, or you know you're not trying to go full AAA. Yeah. Where you're you know Final Fantasy fifteen is like what hundred gigabytes. Something like that. Yeah. If you're just trying to play Hades and CS:GO things like that. Oh, the games you could. Well, yeah. I mean, you could pop a <laughs> SS, you know, one terabyte play SSD. Play your indie games. Play your ten-year-old art or, uh, FPSs. There yeah, you go. Yeah, that's what Steam people are doing anyway. I mean, CS:GO is the number one played game on Steam. Is it really? Yeah. Still? Yeah. People Holy play no. those old games. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, I play Portal about once every year. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite games. Yeah. And so I mean, I play Divinity: Original Sin all the time. The original one that came with like two, 2015, six yeah. years old, six, seven years old. Well, that's because you know PC players are kind of spoiled with their backwards compatibility because oh, yeah. they never had to upgrade to the next yeah. one like what do you mean you had you upgraded your device and now you can't play your old games what does that mean like <laughs> i don't understand just move the hard drive dude it's yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> did, you, did you forget your wi-fi password just to download hair like can't re- can't <laughs> relate so um speaking of wanting to see it i placed my reservation i put um a reservation for the 650 fifty dollar model the begin the big boy because if i'm go big or go home uh-huh um, no they compromises. Did, they did something interesting with this, though, and I think uh, some companies, PlayStation, Sony, you can learn from this. Can learn from this. Uh, Anti scalping measures. Did you yeah, hear about yeah. this? So you weren't able to reserve a Steam Deck unless you had a Steam profile already right. and you had made a purchase before July 2021. It's like the last six months, I think. Before it, July. Yeah. You just had to have made a purchase on oh, Steam before July. Them? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you can't make six million accounts and buy them all. <laughs> right, right. So no new accounts. Forty-eight hours Take after that bots. So it took forty-eight Suck. hours. Forty-eight hours. Forty-eight hours from the, from the time pre-orders went live mm-hmm. to did it really? Then. It wasn't like gone. No. Well, I'm saying it when when the the pre-orders went live mm-hmm. for forty-eight hours. Only people who had made purchases on oh. Steam before July could re- reserve their uh, Steam Deck. Did they not sell out in that window? It probably did. They you'll, probably you'll did. Look it up yourself. Yep. You're adults. Steam Deck. It's <laughs> store.steampowered.com. <laughs> go there. I'm very excited. The fir- a, it, oh, go ahead. Sorry. The first game um, I'm going to play, mm-hmm. I want to see how well it runs Final Fantasy 15. Because that's a very intensive game. Yeah. And they say you can play AAA games, and I'm pretty sure, or Resident Evil Village, one of those two is going to be the most graphically demanding games. Cyberpunk? I think. Cyberpunk? Oh, yeah, I do love Cyberpunk. I so, love Cyberpunk. Uh, it'll probably still be Final Fantasy. It's yeah. huge. It's graphically intensive. And uh, it's Final Fantasy. And it's Final Fantasy. Like, <laughs> a game that I actually want to play. Right. There you <laughs> go. Would be the first one that I play. Uh, I'm, I, again, I would like to just see how it works. Like, yeah. Maybe. I don't really personally feel the need for a portable mm-hmm. PC. I, I honestly don't play that many PC games as it is. Mm-hmm. That's one of the reasons why with the Switch, I was kind of bummed that they didn't give us any dock love. Yeah. Because I play at home. Yeah, Honestly, you know, we're, I'm not the busybody I once was. Right, but I, it's pretty cool. It's nice. It's very cool. It's very. I don't nice. know how the hell they're gonna do that for four hundred dollars. Though, I mean, Gabe's came out and said that hitting that price point was hard. Yeah, which uh, they probably do. What the Sony and Microsoft do, they don't make Take money the loss, off the conference. Get it on software. Yep, exactly. I mean, who putting? He said they expect millions of people to be buying this. Now, okay, you mentioned mm-hmm. to me earlier mm-hmm. that this thing is, it has, it runs Windows. No, it runs Steam OS, but you can install Windows on it. So can you then install the Epic Game Store on this thing? Yes. They, just, they've come out and said you can install... I mean, it run, it's a PC. Yeah. Anything, like, what can you do with your PC? That seems Whatever like, you want. Yeah, and they uh, that's one thing that PC gaming culture has kind of pigeonholed itself into, mm-hmm. is, like, the openness and the cross-platform mm-hmm. and the all of this to where... Seem, I mean, if anyone actually likes the Epic Game Store, mm-hmm. get your get your Fortnites and your... Uh, what else do they got over there? Uh, Magic. 
Oh, Magic Arena. Oh, I meant on the Epic Game Store. Yeah, you can get Magic Arena on the Epic Game Store. Oh, is it on the store? You can get it on its own download. I mean, oh, weird. Yeah. But, yeah. So you get all that stuff. It'd be cool to see Overwatch run on this thing. Maybe oh, we'll yeah. eventually get oh, Overwatch it'll definitely. Too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. This Steam Deck comes out in December is when you should be getting them for the first wave of pre-orders. Mm-hmm. Maybe by January for the second wave. Yeah. Um, I'll definitely be flexing it on the channel. Yeah. And we'll be uploading some videos and get, to show you what it's get like. Get some newborn pictures of your, your Steam Deck. <laughs> Holding it like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So one other game got announced this yes. week. Yes. And it is... Uh, Kind of weird, kind of out of left field, but kind of also building a lot of hype. Yeah. And that is Nickelodeon All-Stars. Nickelodeon was like, Smash Bros. We like Smash Bros. Yeah. We can make Smash Bros. Yeah, I made this. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You made this? I made this. Yeah, right? I mean, hey, they make Nickelodeon, Nintendo, two companies that start with N, uh, family friendly. They're basically the same thing. It's the same thing. So, so go ahead. They announced it, and uh, it looks really fun, actually. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem like one of those. One of those. One of those. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The licensed game where it's like SpongeBob. I mean, SpongeBob has had some good ones, but any other been a while. cartoon-based game. Mm-hmm. That, you know, okay, they just did it just to do it. Right. Uh, no, this actually looks like they put some detail in it. I mean, I'm looking at these models. I'm looking at the the the, the, the battlefields. And they all look like there's plenty of attention to detail. Right. So Moves. they think they fi- from, from everything that has come out as far as, like, developers talking about it and things like that, mm-hmm. it seems like the people who are making it love Smash Brothers. Mm-hmm. And they're like, the Smash Brothers community, if you don't know... There is some toxicity in the Smash Brothers community. <gasps> I know, right? What? So, I'm sure you've heard of a game called Super Smash Brothers Melee. It came out almost like 20 years ago at this point, and mm. people are still playing it. It's the best one, bro. <laughs> it's got wave dashing, bro. <laughs> no, but people love Melee. People yeah. love Melee because of its flaws, the things that got through the cracks that the developers never fixed, like wave dashing, which is an ability to move your character a certain distance on the field mm. that you're technically not supposed to be able to do. It's a hack. Mm. You know, or like a, you know, it requires a high amount of skill. Mm-hmm. In the later games, they fixed all of that. And even they overcorrected in the next game by making it so that if you try to do this, your character trips. <laughs> nice. If you remember back in Brawl, we would play yeah. and it's just, oh, I tripped and got killed. Mm-hmm. Wah, wah. Anyway, the Nickelodeon guys are trying to tap into that market. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, you like wave dashing? We like wave dashing too. Yeah. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so they're trying to make it basically Smash Melee. Yeah. And they've got a pretty cool roster of characters. Yeah. Why don't you run down what's so, announced so far? So they've got so far Helga yeah. from Hey Arnold. Helga Pataki. Yeah, football head over here. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, Danny Phantom. I'm, oh. oh, man. You should have seen it. Hey, we, we, we watched this trailer right before we started recording. My man here screamed. Yeah, man. Danny Phantom! Dan- <laughs> Danny Phantom was my favorite Nickelodeon show. Is it really? Of all time. Yeah. It's 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 Butch Hartman's greatest. It's his, it's his opus, man. Magnum opus. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna catch him all because he is Danny Phantom. I, I swear to God, I sing that theme song at least once a week. Every time I need to, like, get out of a situation, I always think... Ghost. Go ghost, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh it's God. very cool show. I'm excited yep. about that one. Yep. What else uh, we got? So we have Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob, because of course we do. Yeah. The karate master herself. They went Ain't hard. nothing too big or too ornery <laughs> for her to handle. Karate. And if you play this game, you have to say that line. Oh, if that line isn't in this game, <laughs> yeah. like if they ever have like intro things or if you like have a like taunt. A, the taunt or yeah. a, like a victory card or something, <laughs> developers. If you're watching this, <laughs> they know. We, you, they have to know. They have to know. I mean, ain't it, nothing. From what we've seen, they, I mean, not to spoil it, but mm-hmm. Patrick's in the game too. Yeah. He has a, an animation where his his I, I assume it's like his down neutral. Mm-hmm. He turns into a freaking ice cream cone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like one frame or like a couple <laughs> seconds from one episode of SpongeBob. Like yeah, these yeah. guys know. Okay, they There's got it. There's a lot of love going on here. Nice. Uh, so Sandy Cheeks Zim from Invader Zim. Yep. And yes. Gur is there too. I don't know if he's actually part of his kit. I assume he has to be, but he's in the trailer. Probably just part of the kit. That's uh, cool. He's, mm-hmm. he's the toad. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Thornberry That's from so the weird. Wild Thornberries. I figured they would have done what's his name the the kid. Oh, uh, Dennis? No. Oh, was it Dennis? It's something like that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He would have been more fun. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, now these these are the ones that make the most sense. Yeah. Michelangelo from Teenage mm-hmm. Mutant Ninja Turtles and Leonardo both yeah. make it. So maybe one day we'll get Raphael and Donatello. Probably. Yes. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. To the surprise of no one. Yeah. Who lives the in a pineapple? Child. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If it's if it's Nickelodeon, they he's got there. Yeah. yeah, I mean he's probably their their cash. He's their cash cow. So I watched yeah. an interesting video. Total mm-hmm. side note. Total side note. Uh, about Viacom, mm-hmm. who owns Nickelodeon. Viacom's a huge company. Yeah. If you've never heard of Viacom, you live under a rock. Mm-hmm. Nickelodeon is one of their companies. Just of like Patrick Star. Sub- subsidiaries. Yeah. Um, SpongeBob SquarePants makes up ten percent of Viacom's yearly revenue, <sighs> which for a giant conglomerate like that. Yeah. A tenth. A tenth. If they have ten board members, that's like one one of their salaries. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a lot. Hey, maybe he can go to space on SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. So, um, continuing, you alluded to it, Patrick Star, mm-hmm. uh, Reptar from Rugrats. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of weird if they just made the kids fight. Yeah. So, hmm, a maybe, little sus. It'd be cool if they like eventually do like the Reptar mobile or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, or like Mecha Reptar. Yeah. Or what was his name? Was it Mecha Reptar? Uh, I don't remember. They did I was, that I was once. thinking of a way to incorporate the babies. Mm-hmm. Put them in the car. I don't know. But or, Reptar. Or maybe, or maybe from the all grown up. Mm-hmm. That way, it's not like babies fighting each yeah. other. Or maybe you just hit kids. Or maybe you just. I mean, use they got kids in this. You're gonna hit kids anyway. Yeah. Whether yeah. they're babies or you know eight year olds. <laughs> Meet the children. Child <laughs> violence. Where's Ed at? We need him here. Uh, <laughs> uh, so these are a couple that I'm maybe the, I'm uh, too much of a millennial to know who these are. Dude, I'm right there with you. Uh, Lincoln Loud and Lucy Loud. So I don't. I'm sure there there are some people that are happy. There's that a market there. for it. Yep. So if you're happy, good for you. Yay. I have no idea who these people are. Uh, now back to more my speed. Mm-hmm. Oblina from Ah Real Monsters. Hell yeah, dude. Yes. I love uh, that show. Yes. And she looks so weird. She's very slithery. Yeah. And like, I'm, ah, so weird. What else yeah. we got? And then the final one confirmed is Powdered Toast Man. Powdered Toast from Man from Gwen Ren and Stimpy. Stimpy. Yeah. And, I mean, he's, he's the, the he looks like All Might, kind of, or like Superman, or he's, he's that type yeah, of character. Yeah, yeah. The big buffy boy. Yeah. Big, mm-hmm. uh, 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 justice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me a little bit of um, Space Ghost. Ah, oh, kind of. But like Toast for Head. Yeah. <laughs> Space Ghost Toast to Toast. Space Ghost <laughs> Powdered Toast to Toast. There we go. Oh my goodness. So okay, so not officially confirmed, mm-hmm. but there is some. I don't. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure if it's leaked artwork or it could very well be a Photoshop. Mm-hmm. We know some of the characters that are coming. You got Ren and Stimpy are supposed to be coming, mm-hmm. which good. They need mm-hmm. to be. You got Cat Dog. Cat Dog. Everybody loves a world with a little cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and then the big ones that I'm excited about, you're excited about. Yes. They've got both of the avatars. <laughs> Aang and Korra. Woo! That's going to be cool. Aang man. Yeah. Aang main is going to be, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be an Aang main or a Danny Phantom main. They're going to put M. Night Shyamalan's Ong. No. <laughs> Killed all of my hype. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's going to be sweet. So we've got a couple of the rumored ones. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you, who do you want to see? Yeah. Okay. So I want Josh Peck. Josh Peck? <laughs> oh, no. Not. Oh, uh, wait. Okay. Not Drake, but no, Josh. No, okay, no, no. okay. You okay, can't okay. put him in there. He's, I he's think canceled. he just got sentenced to prison. Yeah. For like something with children, right? Yeah. No, he, no, no. He no, got no, with no. the Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, no. I want Josh Peck. I want him to smash people with the the Okama Game Sphere. Nice. I want him to uh, be able to do some movie theater stuff. Yeah, yeah. I want his like taunt to be Megan. Megan, <laughs> that face. And his alternate <laughs> skins are you get fast Josh and skinny Josh. Oh, you fast got, Josh. F- fat Josh. Oh, or okay. Heavy set Josh. Sorry. Chunky, chunky VPC. Josh. PC. Yeah, yeah. Younger Josh. Cuddly Josh. I mean, he knows. Come on now. Don't fat shame. <laughs> no, I'm, I want him. Okay, yeah. I need him. <sighs> like, in the words of uh, Invader Zim, I have a mighty need. Yeah. I have a mighty need. <laughs> <laughs> Who I would want to see, my top pick, mm-hmm. Jorgen von Strangle from Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the big, big dude. Arnold Schwarzenegger fa- uh, yeah, fairy. Camo pants. Yeah. John Cena pants. <laughs> <laughs> He looked kind of like John Cena, except for the crew yeah. cut. He looks yeah. like it's like John Cena from like here down, and no, then you he, got the what's the dude from the Small Soldiers? 
Oh, I know who you're talking about. Aren't they, they, weren't they both Arnold Schwarzenegger ripoffs? Though? Very possibly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think so because there was another one. I always misquote Jorgen von Strangle mm -hmm. because for years, the, the Fairly Odd Parents quote, you know, I'll be back yeah. with weapons. <laughs> it was a movie in Fairly Odd Parents, but it was another character from Fairly Odd Parents, the mm -hmm. same show that had that was based off of um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Really? Yeah, yeah. It, forget the name, but it wasn't Jorgen von Strangle. Weird. So what I would like for him to do, obviously he's got that giant the wand. Giant wand. Smash. Wow. And I, I want him, his like other smash attack or mm. something to be just to black him with the rules. The rules, That yeah. big pink book that he always has, the yeah. rules. So, okay. They didn't show any Fairly Odd Parents stuff. Nothing, which is... Which, surprising. Mm, yeah. So that's how you get Drake Bell. You get him as Timmy Turner. Because he was live action Timmy Turner. Was he? Yeah. Oh no. It was bad. He the, was a grown man playing child Timmy Turner. Oh god, no that. With I, like CGI fairies. It was oh, a mess. No, 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 no. Burn that from your memories. <laughs> god. <laughs> you either are in it or you're not. Right. But Nickelodeon's cool. We like to see a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. Pretty excited about I'm excited about the Switch OLED model. Yes. You're excited about the Steam Deck. I know. And yes. we're totally revamping the program. Yep. So you know, we're, we're going to try to keep it gaming-ish centric on this show. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're gamers. We like talking yeah. about games. We play games. Yeah. As soon as we finish with this, what are we going to play, Carl? We're going to go play some Pokemon Unite. Pokemon Unite launched today. I will be... Yes, it launched today. Today. But also, like, today when you're watching this, this was a couple days ago. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Go watch Hump the Headline. Yes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go do that. You can find me at twitch.tv slash soda pizzle plug, 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 yep. plug. And you'll probably see me in his stream. Yeah. <laughs> Look for Awesome Muffin. Yeah, that's your boy. Yes. So that's that's well, it for today's show, right? Yeah, I think that's um, all. Let us know if you liked this new way of doing things. Let mm -hmm. us know what you enjoyed. More importantly, though, let us know what you didn't enjoy and how yeah. we could do better. Tear us down. Tear us down. I want to I want to have hurt feelings. Yeah, we're never going to grow if we just keep being like, I don't know, metrics. Like, yeah, we yeah. want direct feedback from people. Don't even tell me, oh, it was good, I liked it. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Shit on it. Exactly. <laughs> and while you're in there, while you're in the comments just tearing us a new one, go ahead and let us know who would you like to see in Nickelodeon All-Stars. Yeah, that's a good Are question. you going to get the Nintendo OLED mm -hmm. Switch? And what about the Steam Deck? Are you yeah. going to get that? And what, what do you want to know about it? Sorry I'm interrupting, Not but either. I'm on a roll right now. Go for it. <laughs> tell me what you want to know about the Steam Deck, what you know, want, to, want to know about these things, mm -hmm. and who you want to see in these games. Cameron, back to you. Yeah. And I just quick little shout out, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're still relatively small, but we've got a pretty engaged community at this mm -hmm. point. And to each and every one of you who have commented on a video or messaged us personally. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You you're the reason we do this. You make us better. And the ones that aren't afraid to tell us exactly how you feel, you're the real one. The realest though, for real. Yeah. <laughs> but I think yeah. that's it. That's it. And uh, this is the end of Life and Games Reboot episode one. Life and, and Games Cast. Life and Games Cast. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Peace out. You